Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. What is Dow writes in it? Dow? Tau? Tau? Um, I don't know. You can let me know in the comments if I'm pronouncing it anywhere correctly. Anyway, writes in and says, Hi, is there a possibility of selecting, scrolling through a snare, for example, uh, or multiple other samples while pattern, a pattern is playing live, sort of to see which one fits best without having to stop the sequence? You probably already know this because you've probably been goofing around with it, but if I start this pattern and hit shift pad 14, it says, please stop the pattern. I don't want to stop the pattern because I want to go in and listen to what's on my SD card and figure out what I want to load next. So I might try hitting pattern select and shift and pad 14. And now it says, please exit pattern select. This is not helpful for me. And yeah, I can obviously while the pattern's playing, you know, you can play different pads and just try things out. But yeah, in this case, you don't have anything loaded from the SD card. So what do you do? Well, my advice would be to do a bounce pattern. Um, on the refer quick reference I've got here that I did, it's for free. Go download it, print this out. Uh, over here, resample pattern. Just look, you got bounce pattern to loop and renders without effects. This is the one that we want. And the way we do it is copy. We hit the pad source we want. You hit pattern select, hit pad destination, and then copy. And away you go. So all we want to do is get this pattern rendered to a sample because we're going to be able to actually play the sample and loop it. So I just hit pattern select to tell, change it from pattern to sample. And all these are dim because I've already got samples on there. I know on bank F, I want to go to pad 13 here. So F13, I hit copy. And this will, instead of copying the pattern, it's going to render out the audio over here. It doesn't take the effects. So if you have any effects or motion recording, it's not going to be part of it. It's going to only render out the actual audio. Hopefully you're okay with this. Anyway, if you are, you can play it. We can hear that this is the same pattern. Turn gate off and loop on, and we are off to the races. So now you can hit shift, go pad 14 for import, export. Go in here, and I don't know, go to my sample packs folder. What do we got that looks fun? Esoteric journey. And we can scroll down to FX. Now, when you're scrolling the wheel the, using the value knob to scroll through, it's going to play whatever you select at full volume. So, for example, that flute, kind of loud. And you hear it cuts out. Well, if you want to re-trigger it, you can use sub pad. And then you can play it out longer. It'll keep going till the full length of the sample. And you can hear, like, some of these are going to be a little bit better mixed with what I've got here because they're not using the full volume but hopefully this makes sense and if you don't want the loop afterwards once you've loaded in things you want you can always just hit delete and just kill it get rid of it anyway guys i hope that helped you all out i hope that makes sense everybody thanks for stopping by keep making music keep having fun remember if it sounds good it is good and peace